congregation, and we would like for everyone to join in with me. And let's have a glorious time in the Lord today. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I so good to us all day and all night. You watched that over us all night last night, Lord. Not letting our heads be our cool, Lord. Father, you prepared, woke us up this morning with your fingertip love. And you said, go out into this world and spread my word. Father, this is what we are doing today. We ask that whatever we do tonight, Lord, be pleasing in your sight, Lord. Once again, Father, we ask you to bless us. And thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who hung blood and died for us to come for, for us to be cherubim, for a share of the tree of life. In his name, Father, we pray.
Everybody say amen. 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 It's a day of celebration, isn't it? Amen. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right place.
Y'all sing, y'all sing. Y'all sing. <laughs>
Jehovah Shammah always with me.
first giving praises to God, yeah. to Pastor Brown, Pastor Young, our mistress of ceremony, and today for our honoree. Yeah. The role of the minister of music is described as one who inspires and enhances congregational worship and fellowship and promotes music as an important part of meaningful personal worship and spiritual growth. Yeah. Minister of music is a divine responsibility yeah. that you seem to carry with such joy. Yeah. You consistently lift our hearts in praise and worship for the glory of God through songs. You do it. You do Throughout it. the community, city, yeah. county, state, and everywhere. Yes, sir. Gary Blevins is well known. Yeah. But he is our minister of music. Y'all say that again. He is our right. minister of music. How y'all hear that? <laughs> I'm going to interject something right here. I was told that at the age of five, he started playing at home. And if he got mad, late at night, he started bamming on the piano. <laughs> so you can ask him later if he got in trouble about it. He was also called Dennis the Menace. <laughs> but he started playing for Sunday school at the uh, Pleasant Hill Baptist Church at the age of eight. Yeah. Gary, your loyalty to the music ministry of the New Jerusalem Baptist Church cannot be denied. For every service, morning worship, funeral, wedding, church program, or other activities, you are there to not only provide music, but to lend a helping hand wherever needed. You have a positive attitude that always sees the best in every situation. Yeah. No matter the problem, you always have a positive answer. Yeah. You are patient to keep a smile most of the time, yeah. even though we test your resolve time and time again. Yeah. You are flexible to always be in tune with the pastor and read the congregation and choose the appropriate song that uplifts and encourages our spirits. You are caring and compassionate about your music ministry. You are. Always enhancing your musical skill set by attending conferences, workshops, and networking to spread the gospel of Christ through gospel music. Yeah. You are humble and appreciative of your God-given talent yeah. and to those of, to whom you've ministered through, to, through worship service. Thank you for your Christ-centered, purpose-driven commitment to serve our church leading us in praise and worship each week. Yes. The songs you choose helps us to learn about praising God through song. Yeah. Thank you for stepping in and serving God wherever you're needed, yes. not only at our church, but the community as well. Yes. First Thessalonians 1 and 3 says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love yes. and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ yes, in the sight of God and our Father. Gary, may God bless you with, this joy, with his joy as you faithfully serve him. Your labor is not in vain.
Amen. Come on, let's give God a great hand praise this afternoon. Brother Blevins, all these people must really like you because it's cold and raining outside. <laughs> but the only thing motivated me was the Cowboys won, so I was like, I can go now. <laughs> <laughs>
and I sing power. He keeps me. He keeps me from all sin. Changes me from day to day as I walk, I walk alone this old night. He changed this old soul of mine. It makes me want to run on. Woo! I'm going to shout hallelujah unto the end. Yeah. His yoke is easy. His yoke is easy. Cherish this whole race. Oh, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna keep on running with it. And by His grace, I know I make it. I make it home someday. His yoke is easy. His yoke is easy. Gotta walk where he leads me. I'll always be right. I'll always be right. Yeah, I'm gonna cherish, cherish this whole race. I'm gonna run it, run it with haste. And by his grace, I know I'm.
struggles keep you near the cross. May your struggles show that you need God. May your battles win the way they should. May your bad days prove that God is good. May your whole life prove that God is good. May your bad days prove that God is Can we give God a hand clap of praise? To the greatest God, 
inside and outside of the universe through his son Jesus the Christ and to the Holy Spirit. It's giving time. I've heard the song sung. I have heard tributes given. I wish you witness all of these things occurring. But there's another occurrence that I'm waiting on. Words can say a lot of things, but actions prove all things. So it's time for us to give, and New Jerusalem, we know what we've been asked to do. This, this is our minister of music. Thank you, Doc. This is our minister of music. He, while we allow him to go all over the city and state, he, he's our musician. And I want everybody in town to know that, that he belongs to New Jerusalem. Y'all say amen. So we're, we're going to ask us to bow. We thank Pastor today from uh, Pastor Young for his donation of $250. Y'all say amen. amen. Thank you, Pastor Land, for your offering as well. Can we bow now? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we, we come now to say thank you for all of your blessings. We pray now, God, that uh, as we reach into our pockets to bring forth our funds, I pray that we will remember the contribution and the impact of this young man in our community. Lord, we know we cannot pay him. We're not even trying to pay him. We're not going to even try to patronize him by trying to pay him. But we just want to say on this side of heaven, we thank him. Now bless every gift, bless every giver. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Of course, I'm going to give mine too, but I'll give mine at a later time. Amen. But, amen. Because I don't believe in asking folk to do what you ain't going to do. Listen, we want some of that money that nobody know you put it down. Y'all say amen. Did y'all hear what I said? Kind of money that when you put it down, it don't even jingle. It just, amen. Please obey the urchins. We got a lot of people in here. And uh, for instructional purposes, we want you to obey the urchins and Go in the directions that they tell you to go. Amen. So we don't have no collisions. We don't want you to run over each other trying to give. Amen. He, he was trying to aggravate me with the Cowboys, but I ain't going to be aggravated today. Grateful for all these great musicians. Let's give it up for our mistress of ceremony, Sister Paula, who has done a fabulous, marvelous, dynamic, and inspirational job. Bless you.
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And just by song I do. <laughs> but for Gary, <laughs> we got to make it work some kind of way. Amen. 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 come up here and sing something that he would want to tell God would be thank you. Yeah. Because God has been good. Yeah. 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 Not just to him, not just to me, yeah. but look at yourself right now. There were millions that did not make it. Amen. Yeah. So if we could just sing to God yeah. be the glory. Yeah. Yeah. To God Be the glory. Anybody else have a thank you in your heart today to where you can just lift your hands and say, To God be the glory. I don't know what he's done for you, but for the thing he has done. His power, He has raised me. You know, when we were sinking on our bed of affliction, and with His blood, He has saved us. Somebody just lift your hands and say, To God be the glory for the thing. with his power. Because some of us feel like we've done it by ourselves, Pastor. With his power, he has. I don't know about you, but I've been sick and he raised me. And when I wasn't a believer, with his blood, on the cross with his arms stretched out wide, he has saved Oh, to God, to God, to God. Be the glory. Everybody in the building, I want to lift your hands and say, Father, things. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, He's done a lot for me. And then lift your hands and say, Father. Come on, just one last time. We can make one big voice in here today and say, Father, the thing. Waking us up. A little food on my table. Activities of these old limbs of mine. Simple things that we take God for granted for. We all need to lift our hands and shout it out. For the thing he has, he has done. Now come on, give God a good praise in this place. Come on, come on, don't stop, don't stop. Fill up this room. Fill up the atmosphere with thanksgiving. Fill up the atmosphere with praise. Come on, come on, come on, use your mouth. Use your mouth, use your hands, use your mouth, use your hands, use your mouth in this place. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. For those little things that I take for granted, I give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Listen, we all in here pretty tight today, so don't let nobody worry about COVID. Just hug somebody next to you and say, I give God the glory today. Hi, glory. I give God the glory today. Come on, come on, tell somebody. I give God the glory. Hallelujah. 
like we did it ourselves. We've got to acknowledge that God has all the power. We've got to acknowledge that he was the one that healed us. We've got to acknowledge that he was the one that saved us from the pit of sin. Anybody in here happy today that God has delivered and saved you today? Hallelujah. So God is our Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. Can we say just, sing just a little bit of that? Amen. Amen. And when you've learned this song, it's a very simple song. I wish that you stand up on your feet and you declare it with us. Amen. That God is our Jehovah Jireh. Yes, Come on, you can just clap your hands like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for being a provider. The choir gonna say something like this. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. That's what he is to me. That's right. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Oh, 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 oh. that's what he is. Come on, choir, y'all tell them who it is. Jehovah Jehovah. Jehovah, Jireh, my provider. provider. That's what he is to me. That's what he is. Come on, let's say it one more time. 
Oh, now, you do better than that. You was clapping for the choir more than you. Put your hands for, together for God. I, I'm not talking about for the choir. I'm talking about for God. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give the most prolific, pronounced, and pronounced God of the universe. All right, we, we, it's time for me to the program say introduction of speaker. Uh, but before I do that, we have so many of our area pastors and clergy here today, and I, I want them to stand where they are. And uh, some of them wanted to, uh, wouldn't come to the pulpit out there beckon them, but if all the pastors and clergy could stand, Gary, look around and see all of these pastors and preachers that have come to share with you today. We we welcome you to New Jerusalem today, and we appreciate your coming. I, I told uh, uh, Brother Blevins if some of these areas of preachers didn't show up, I'm gonna be kind of bent out of shape. Because he's always running here, and every time they get ready to have some, they call in Gary. And I, I just know in order to have friends, you have to demonstrate your ability to be friends. And so we welcome you today. Now, my job is a great job because it don't really take much to introduce this guy because if you've been around East Texas, he's really self-introductory. But now, if I, if I wanted to impress you and say nice and kind and considerate things about him, I would tell you that he's prolific in his preaching. Oh, y'all didn't say that. I said if I, if, if I wanted to, to impress you, I, I would tell you that he's pronounced in his preaching. And I could tell you about all of his educational uh, achievements. I could tell you that even now he's walking on his doctorate degree. That, that sounds impressive to most men. Uh, did y'all hear what I said? That sounds pretty good to the average guy. But the Bible says, how can we hear without a preacher? Oh, I wish I had somebody. And how, how can he preach it lest he be sent? How beautiful are the feet of them. So if I really wanted to tell you something most impressive is that he's a man of God. He's taller than I am. He's larger than I am. He knows how to preach because I heard him. He knows what to preach. He knows when to preach and to whom to preach to. He's one of God's greatest. Oh, y'all didn't say nothing. He, he, he's familiar with East Texas because he was the former pastor of the College Hill Missionary Baptist Church. But now he pastors one of Dallas's finest church, the East Gate Baptist Church. Oh, how honored I am today. I'm as excited as a kid with a piece of peppermint. It is my duty. It is my privilege to introduce to some, but at the same time, present to others this giant in the gospel, Pastor Kennedy Young. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. But before he comes, before he comes, the program said there's going to be a sermonic solo. Is Sister Serena yeah, yeah. Woods, are you in the building? Could you make your way to a microphone somewhere in the building? And y'all say amen. Is this sister? I'm going to lend you my mic. It's got a lot of volume. I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fail me. In all my days, you have held me in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Can I say it my way? 
I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest nights. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. I have lived in the goodness of God. Because all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Because all my life you have been faithful. He's never let me down. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh. Because all my life you have been faithful. He's been faithful. Woo. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Bless you. Can we stand now for the preacher of the hour? Somebody echo with me. Say, preacher, preach today. Preach today. Preacher, preach today. Preacher, preach. Today. preach. so faithful thank you for all of our lives you've been so good to us Lord you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. and for that Lord we want to say thank you thank you for opening up the largest of your heart and making your grace both affordable and amenable to each of us God we stand in awe of you because you have yet to do things that eyes have not seen. You have yet to do things that ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men what good things you have prepared for them. So Lord, today we thank you for every, every song and every supplication, every salutation, every special recognition. Thank you for this, your son and laborer for the gospel through song. Thank you for giving him that Joshua blessing, for blessing every place his foot trod and every place he goes. Now, Lord, speak to us that we might hear. 
and that we may be better by practice as you are by nature. In Jesus' name, we ask it all and pray. Amen. Can we give the Lord a great hand of praise in this house? Oh, come on, let's do better than that and give God our best praise uh, that we have. This is indeed the day the Lord has made, and we will do our best to rejoice and be glad in it on today. Uh, we want to say thank you to uh, Pastor Brown for allowing us to come and to share uh, in this auspicious occasion with this uh, vast and august uh, reach that he has. And to our brother and friend, Brother Blevins, thank you so much for thinking so much of ourselves to stand here uh, and to share, for I am no fool to think I am the only phone number in their phones. Um, and so we are grateful to God for this opportunity to come and to share uh, to all of this clergy and pastors who have come today to celebrate our brother. Can we give God praise for all of the pastors and friends who have come uh, today, and those who have been mentors and friends down through the years, and to uh, past members and friends, we say God bless you. My wonderful family is here today, beautiful wife and children and mother-in-law are here. Can you stand up and wave like you in the Tyler Parade? Amen. Amen. Well, uh, lest I hold you too long, there is a word from the Lord on this afternoon. I'd like to invite your intellect to the book of Psalms. And I'd like to commence our reading at Psalm 117. I want to read every verse and preach every word from Psalm 117 and 1 and 2. Psalm 117, verses 1 and 2. I'll be preaching every word and every verse. Psalm 117, stanzas 1 and 2. I'd like to um, commence at verse 1. We'll be reading from the NIV version of the scriptures. And it says, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Extol him, all ye people. For great is his love towards us. And the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Today I want to talk to you about prioritizing your praise. Yeah. Prioritizing yeah. your, your praise. Prioritizing your your praise. I am of the opinion that we sagaciously give precedence to whomever or whatever is significant to us. And I believe that we as believers can ill afford to put God on the back burner That's it. That's it, because he's done so much for us yeah. and has made a multiplicity of ways. Yeah. He has placed us in the omnibenevolence of his care yeah. and has been both uh, retributive and receptive to who he is. Yeah. God is both our creator and our redeemer. And it's there, Brother Ryder, that God not only merits our praise, but he deserves our praise. Uh, I wish I had at least four more people and I'll make number five that can testify that he merits our praise. And deserves all of our praise. But I am also of the opinion that we should not allow our 
situations and our circumstances, Reverend Cross, to dictate when we praise the Lord. I don't, I don't believe they heard me, Dr. Cross. I said we, we should not allow our situations nor our circumstances to circumvent or to relish the fact that we serve a God who's both worthy, capable, and able and has the amiable ability to look beyond our faults and see our very needs. Rather, I, I, I believe, Dr. Hood, that we should allow our praise to dictate our situations. Because Big Mama said that when praises go up, blessings will come down. Do I have a witness here that can testify? I know what blessing the Lord will do. I know that even when I'm down, I'm still going to lift him up beyond where I am. And tonight I ought to have somebody here that can testify he's been too good to me to sit here stoic and nostalgic and sedity and superfluous to the circumstances of life and to know that even in the mill hues and in the dull drums of life, he's still worthy of our praise. I don't think they hear me. Deacon Devereaux, here's what, I'm, here's what I want to talk to us tonight, is that sometimes we don't know the delineation of what praise and worship is. We worship him because of his identity, but we praise him because of his activity. Can I give it one more time? Dr. Wickware, here it is. I, I said, we worship him. My hands are up because of his identity. He's been a protector. He's been a provider. He's been a way maker. He's been a head lifter. He's been a joy turner. He's been the lifter of my head. And I don't know about you, but there are times, Dr. Choice, that I praise him because of his activity. He's been good to me. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. I wish y'all take the brakes off me today. Is there anybody here that can testify he's been good to me? And I ought to have at least 20 people, and I'll make 21 that can testify I'm going to prioritize my praise because every time I'm raising my voice every time I turn around he keeps right on right on making it's too early for that but, but he says that, that, that we should make him a priority in our lives that, that right there Blevins is the challenge, Pam, as we look at this, they, th this text teaches us about giving him the praise. Th this particular passage, smart people like Lawrence Brown would call the Tehillim. Th th this, this 150 numbers of Psalms. In this book of Psalms that is canonized for us and that is categorized in five divisions of Psalm. That's why we don't call them chapters because they were the literal Hebrew hymn book at that time. And it has one thematic west. It has one thematic thrust and it demonstrates I need for God's word and for God's presence. I said it demonstrates our need for both his word and his presence because it, I, I'm shouting because his word is still a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. I, I don't have nobody, Brent, that can testify that. I, I need his word. Genesis 50 and 20 said, what you meant for evil, God meant for my good. I, I need his word. Isaiah, I wish they had a witness here. Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon formed against me shall be able to pray. I need his word. Psalm 121 and 1, I'll lift up mine eyes to one the hills from which cometh all of my help because all of my help comes from the Lord. Philippians 1 and 8, he that began a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter number 2 and verse number 10 says, let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 14 says, I'm forgetting those things which are behind me and I press toward the mark of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says that he'll give you a peace that surpasses all 
understanding. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Philippians 4 and 19 says, and oh my God shall supply all of my needs according uh, according to his riches. I need his word. But I also praise him for his, his presence. It is here, Sister Beasley, that we unearth this particular ideology today. Psalms 113 through Psalms 118 is what they like to call the Hallel Psalms. Because every psalm from Psalm 113 and 1 begins like this, Hallelujah. Psalm 114 and 1 begins like this, Hallelujah. Psalm 115 and 1, you won't guess what it belongs to, how it begins, hallelujah. Psalm 116 and 1 begins like this, hallelujah. Psalm 117 and 1 begins like this, hallelujah. Psalm 118 and 1 begins like this, hallelujah. This is a hallel psalm that they sung because it is a post-exilic psalm. And they're praising God because of how he brought them out. And all to have somebody here that can go cuckoo for cocoa puffs tonight because the Lord has brought me out. He's brought me out of depression. I'm praising him. He's brought me out of anxiety. I'm praising him. He's brought me out of an embarrassing situation. I'm praising him. Do I have a witness here that can testify? That's why I'm going to praise him tonight because he's brought me out of something. If he ain't brought you out of nothing, you can remain on mute. But is there anybody here that can testify he's brought me out of something? One thing he has brought us out of of Chandra is he's brought us out of darkness yes sir into the marvelous light and all to have somebody here that can lift your little chocolate hand and tell him Lord I thank you for bringing me out you brought me from a mighty from a mighty long way that, that, that they are they, they, they are praising God because of how he brought them and not only how he brought them, but how he kept them. See, anybody here that can testify, not only did he bring me, but in the midst of him bringing me, he had to keep me. He had to keep my mind when I wanted to throw in the towel. He had to keep my heart when I got tired of folk picking on me. He had to keep me when I wanted to quit crying. But is there anybody here that can testify, not only did he bring me, but he will keep you. Oh, I ought to have somebody here tonight that can open your mouth and lift your hands and tell him, Lord, I thank you for keeping me. Can you look at your neighbor for the first time? and shake their hand like a Polaroid picture and say, neighbor, he will keep you. That's the wrong neighbor. Find somebody else who's really been through a tough time and tell them, neighbor, he will. He will keep you. It, it, is, it is here, Dr. Johnson, that I want to share with you my little feeble objective. The objective of this, of this talk tonight is, is that Here's the objective. The, the objective is, is that praise forgets itself in remembering God. That's why when Blevins taught that song, he said, so forget about yourself. Concentrate on him and worship him and I don't know about you but tonight I don't need no worship fan in me I ask God to give me this type of praise I, I've been through too much I've been through too many ups and downs not to give him the praise so tonight I want you to forget about yourself and remember the ways he's made remember all the times he's been with you and even though you don't have a lot the one thing I can praise God for is he never left me jokers walked out but he walked in. Other people dropped me but he picked me up. Do I have a witness here that can testify that the Lord is right here by my side and I ought to have somebody Frank that can give God praise on credit for what he's about to do in my life. I know he hadn't healed me but he's about to. I know he hadn't given me the house but he's about to. I know he hadn't given me the job but he's about to. Anybody here know something about that layaway? I dare you right now to put your praise on Lay away. It's, it's here tonight that, that, that we understand and we unearth tonight, Pastor Johnson, 
that, that, that if when we prioritize our praise, we understand that there is this universal command to praise the Lord. Stanza one, Dr. Long says that there is this universal praise to give him the glory. Number one, he says, how do I do it? He said there should be a demonstration. He, he says, praise the Lord. It's three words in English, but it's a multisyllabic word in Hebrew. It is. It is the word hallelujah, and hallelujah is a compound word in the Hebrew. It is two words, hallel, and then the last word is yah, because we're not just praising our shoes. We're praising the one who gave them to us. He says, I I've got to give him the praise I've got to give him the glory I've got to give it to him but this word hallelujah it means Chandra to shine a light upon him it means that even when I'm in my darkest time I'm still going to put him in the spotlight and is there anybody here tonight that can testify I've come to put him on display tonight because when you look at my life and see all that he's done for me I can tell him Lord I thank you for my journey now is there anybody here that can give him praise on credit tonight that can tell him Lord I ain't praising my job I'm praising you for the job I ain't praising you for my boo or my bow. I'm praising you because you gave them to me. I ain't praising you for my kids. I'm praising you for how you blessed me and how you kept me. Is there anybody here tonight that's come with a praise on your lips and one down in your heart? Somebody here ought to shout praise the Lord. Uh, that's the wrong neighbor. Find somebody else and look at them and tell them we're going to praise him tonight. Now, now, now I want to help us tonight, Dr. Choice. Because there is this, uh, this, there is this erroneous teaching within the church. And that is, when folk holler, praise the Lord, we always shout back, praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. This text says, they don't want you to shout it, they want you to show it. Because th there are eight words for praise the Lord and we only do one of them, praise the Lord. So, so when Blevins shout praise the Lord, he says, number one, I have to learn how to yada, and that means to lift my hands. <laughs> I've got to lift him because he's never let me down. Is there anybody here that can testify the reason I'm lifting my hands tonight is because he's kept my hands up. When I wanted to give up, he kept me and I'm going to lift my hands. You should have sat somewhere else because I've come to lift him up tonight. And Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. But, but he says, not only do I need to yada him, he says, I need to barack him. I need to bow down at his feet. Do I have a witness here that can testify? James 4 and 10 says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God for in due season he shall lift you up. Y'all don't like that scripture. For here it is, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. He says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God for in due season he will exist you I've come to bow down before him my Bible tells me rather that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess maybe you don't like bowing here he says here's another thing you can do you can shabak him you can shout unto God for what he's done unto you is there anybody here tonight that feel a shout coming on tonight and can testify I've come to lift up my mouth and my hands I'm gonna leave here with a hallelujah and a hall because I've been giving him the praise so much on tonight. I ought to have somebody here, but then if you don't like shouting, maybe you're the reserved, quiet type. He says you can tahila, which means to do your jig. It means to do your dance. Is there anybody here that can testify here? I'm going to dance for the Lord because praise is the way I say thanks. I ought to have somebody here tonight that wants to tell him thank you. It doesn't matter if you open your mouth, if you bow your knees, if you I wish I had a witness here. If you lift your hands or if you do your dance, can I get a witness here that can praise the Lord tonight? If you
you want to clap your hands, you ought to do that tonight. If you want to shout tonight, you ought to shout. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done, he said there has to be a demonstration. But then not only should there be a demonstration, he said there has to be a declaration. He says, I've got to praise the Lord. It is Warren Wiersbe in his book entitled Real Worship. He says and suggests to us that true praise is not cheap. It's a costly experience. So when I get to praising him long, don't, don't send no ushers my way. I ask God for this. Eh? Find a joker who ain't saying nothing. Find somebody who ain't moved all service. Find somebody whose song is I shall not be moved. But I've come to praise the Lord. I ask God to let me cry. I ask God to let me run. If you get in my way, I'll run you over like I'm Ezekiel Elliott because God is chasing me out of something and into another place. Do I have a witness here that can testify? Don't let no wish I had a witness. When the Lord is in it, I'm not going to stop a tall twisting ankle because God has been good to me and I'm going to praise him. Look at your neighbor and tell him this is an MOS moment. This means be move over some because I'm going to get ready to shout. Do I have a witness here? I, this cost me something. I know you like the way I dance but this cost me something. I know you like the way I shout but this cost me something. You laugh at the way I give him glory but this cost me something. Do I have a witness is here. It cost me a divorce. It cost me my life. It cost me going down and the Lord bringing me up. Do I have a witness here that can testify this praise right here cost me something. This ain't no cheap Johnny come lately praise because all I've got to do is speak up the goodness of Jesus. He says it cost me something. He says we've he says, Frank, we've got to extol him. That, that word extol, it, it means to speak well of another. And the etymology of that word is where we get the word for eulogy from. To speak well on the behalf of another. And if God has been good to you, you ought to have some good things to say about him. He's been a way maker. He's been a head lifter. He's been a situation turner. He's been the healer of my body. What has he done for you? I think you to open your mouth right now and tell him, tell somebody, he's been good to me. He's given you a heart that beats 70 times a minute. He's given you lung with 14 pounds of oxygen on the inside of your body. He's given you 270 miles of blood vessels on the inside of you. He's given you 32 teeth in your mouth. He's given you 7,000 bumps on your tongue to pick up the salty and the sweet. He's given you 3,000 little hairs on the inside of your ear. He's given you 27 bones in your hand. I ought to have somebody here that can testify. And the one thing I know he has done is he woke me up early this morning he, I speak well of him reflectively and intellectually and informatively look up toward heaven and tell him God you've been so good he says there's this universal command to give him the praise but not only is there this universal command Dr. Johnson but he says there is this unshakable cause he said there has to be this universal command, but there is this unshakable cause to give him the praise. He says, number one, I should praise him because he's been graceful and he's been faithful. It's right here. I wish I could make it up, but I can't. Here it is. He said for his loving kindness. Some version, the 1876 version of the King James says, because of his goodness towards us. The word goodness, the word loving kindness is the Hebrew word chesed. It is a guttural word. You, you got to pronounce it as though your allergies are bad. It is, it is a guttural, which means it has to come from on the inside. And it is, it is a PL verb, which suggests that the subject is doing it at the behest of the object because he's done something for them. But then he says it is 
something that comes from on the inside. It's God's covenant love and his favor and his affection towards me. He's saying that God has been gracious towards me and nothing has ever stopped him from being gracious and merciful to me. And if nothing can stop you from praising God, then nothing can stop his grace from coming towards you. Still sleep. Here it is, Deacon Watson. He, he, he says this in Romans 8 and 34. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Not height, not depth, nor things present, nor things to come shall separate me from the love of God and he's been gracious towards us because grace is when he gives me what I don't deserve and I don't know about you but I thank God he gives me what I don't deserve has he been good to you tonight Psalm 103 and verse 10 says that he does not treat me like my sins deserve and that ought to make you go crazy right there because there have been some times you said you wouldn't go do it again and you find yourself back at that same quadrant of thought doing the same thing over and over again but the one thing it does not stop is God blessing you over and over again do I have a witness here because that can testify God has been so good to me because every time I turn around he keeps right on making a way I'm not praising him for Gucci I'm praising him for his grace I'm not praising him for Louis Vuitton I'm praising him for the Lord's victory I'm not praising him for Hermes I'm praising Praising him because he's just been good. I'm not praising him for Balenciaga. I'm praising him because he's letting me ball out of control. Do I have a witness here that can testify in the words of Fat Joe? I'm all the way up. Do I have a witness that can praise God for the things he's done and will do in your life? Now, 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 now here is the rhetoric of the text. He's, he's saying that they, they were in exile. And they weren't in exile because they wanted to take a trip to Curacao or the Grand Cayman. They were in exile because they denied the Lord, betrayed the Lord, and did not keep his word as he said. So Kim, he had to take them from a good place and put them in a bad place so they can look back and say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side. And so what happened is, Sister Ryder, is he forgave them, restored them, and healed them, and brought them out. And because of those things, they said, ain't nothing but one thing to do, and that's to give him the glory. Because God has taken you from a bad place and has put you in a good place. Do I have a witness here that can testify the Lord has been good to me? He's given me something. Almost, I wish I had a witness here. Almost like something with a sunroof top digging in a scene with a gangster lead. Is there anybody here that can testify here? He's been so good to me that I cannot thank him enough. He says, I thank him that he's been graceful and he's been faithful. He said he's been faithful. It is this opportunity that they had transgressed against God. But I'm glad that his, his mercy was greater than their own, their own sins. I'm glad tonight that we serve a God tonight and that loves how, 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 how we give him the praise. And if the Lord has, has, has been faithful to you, woo you ought to praise the Lord. And if the Lord has made a way for you, you ought to open. No, 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 no. You ought to open your mouth. And give him the praise. 
I'm trying now, now to tell you you've got to prioritize giving him the praise. Y'all ain't happy here. Can I tell you that Psalm 146 began, praise ye the Lord. And Psalm, no, 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 146 ends, praise ye the Lord. Psalm 147 it begins praise praise the Lord and Psalm 147 ends just like this praise praise ye the Lord Psalm 148 begins praise praise the Lord and uh, Psalm 148 in uh, praise ye the Lord. Psalm, Psalm, uh, Psalm 149, uh, it begins, uh, praise ye the Lord. Psalm 149, uh, it is like this. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150, it begins like this. Praise ye the Lord. But Psalm 150, let everything that had breath praise. Oh Lord, ye the Lord, has he done anything? Open your mouth and praise the Lord. Let's go, Reggie. Have I got a witness here that can testify when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me? My soul. Looks back in wonder how, how I made it over. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor tonight and say, neighbor, I got to praise him because the Lord has brought me out. If he brought you out, open your mouth and give him the glory. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Open your mouth and give him the praise. Have I got a witness here? Can you do me one favor? Look over over your left shoulder and tell him thank you. Look over your right shoulder and tell him thank you. What we doing, Reverend? I want you to see just how far the Lord has brought you. If he brought you, shout thank you, Jesus. If he brought you, shout a praise the Lord. If he brought you, Shout glory, hallelujah. Can you put them together? Glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, I feel, Lord, I feel, yeah, I feel better. Sign out. So much better if you feel better. Praise him better. If you feel better, praise him better. If you feel feel better, look up toward heaven and say thank you, Lord, that it won't always be like this because I owe him a good praise. If you owe him a praise, look at your neighbor and seek their hand and hold that hand like he's been good to you and say, neighbor, I got a word for you. Be 
renounce this may whatever be tied Won't he do it? If you know he will, praise him like he will. Shout like he will. Scream like he will. Lord, Worthy, lift up your hands and give God your best praise. That ain't your best praise. Oh, that ain't your best praise. Open your mouth and tell Him, Thank you, Lord. I got five reasons. You got to praise him tonight. He woke you up early this morning. He woke you up early this morning. He, 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 he woke you up early this morning. If he woke you up, praise him up. Shout up. Shout out. Thank you for my journey. It'd be all right. I said it'd be all right. If he's all right, shout all right. Give him your best praise. Shout all right. All right. Give him glory. Open your mouth. I'm waiting on y'all. I said open your mouth. This might be your last time. Open your mouth. I know it's rough on you, but open your mouth. I know it's tough on you, but open your mouth. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Can I ask three questions? Have you tried him? Do you know him? Ain't he all right? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Do you know him? Have you tried him? Ain't he all right? Y'all ain't saying nothing, McCullough. Do you know him? Have you tried him? Ain't he all right? If you know him, shout I know him. If you tried him, shout I've tried him. If he's all right, give him an all right praise. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your hands right where you are. Lord, we tonight have come to prioritize our praise. To give your name the glory. To give your name the honor. Not just to shout for shouting's sake, but to be a witness for the ways you've made. The doors you've opened, the hearts you've put back together again, even the tears we've cried, thank you, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So Lord, we've come to lift up our hands and tell you thank you. Even while our hearts are sad, even when our joy is there, we tell you thank you tonight. Tell you thank you for what you've done and the ways you've made. Lord, we glorify you. Wherever you are, whatever you've been, going through God says the struggle is over for you you 
you've been in this place long enough and your mountainside has been rough the struggle is over for you can i say it one more time long wherever you are whatever you've been going through god says the struggle is over for you you've been in this place long enough and your mountainside has been rough the struggle is over for you can you look at somebody and just testify and tell them tell them this wherever you are encourage somebody tonight whatever you've been going through god says the struggle is over for you come on prophesy and tell them you've been in this place long enough and your mountainside has been rough the struggle look at somebody tell them this right here the struggle is over hallelujah the struggle is over for you the struggle is so the struggle is oh come on say say the struggle is struck i don't care how long you've been oh oh for you the struggle is na 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 come on the prophet say this say the pain is the pain do you receive that tonight? Say the pain is for you. The pain is over. The pain is over. Come on, say the heartache, the heart. Y'all ain't singing like you mean it. Say the heartache. Oh, come on for who? The heartache is oh, 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 over the heartache. Come on, one more time. Say the struggle is. I wish you would prophesy to your neighbor. Say the struggle is. Come on, say. Say the struggle. Ooh, the struggle is. Come on, one more time. If you really mean it, come on, say. The struggle is. I wish I had somebody. Say, the struggle is. Woo! The struggle is. Say, the struggle is. Come on, one more time. Say it like you mean it. Say, the struggle is. You're not saying it like you mean it. Say, the struggle is. is a musician's appreciation but it's always in order for anyone who would want to come and receive Christ in the free part of their sins thank you preacher 
Thank you, Pastor. If I could bottle all that up in a can, I'd send it for a lot of money. I think they said something about that little can that gives you wings. But that can or that that gives you wings ain't got nothing on this can. Did not this preacher preach today? Did not this preacher preach today? If any be lost after this preaching, you'll have to take personal responsibility because this preacher has preached. I told you he was prolific. Did I tell y'all that? I told you he was pronounced. He proved every point I made today. So thank you, preacher. Thank you, pastor. May you preach a long time. Uncompromising gospel. We're going to bring back now our mistress of ceremony. And by the way, I, I want to give her some flowers. I want to pin some flowers on her today if I can. <laughs> Sister Paula, ever since I, I don't know, bless her heart, it looked like uh, she 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 she's got a knack for this. And, and uh, she don't mind working, she don't mind getting up and and she's been a blessing to us since ever since she's got here. She's served in so many capacities, and so we are grateful now. She's going to finish navigating us through the rest of this program, and, and then we're going to get through with this, and we're going to go back and eat us a little food, and amen. And hopefully by the time I get home, the 49ers in one. Come on, Sister Paul, I just... I ain't gonna let you, I ain't gonna let you, listen, excuse my broken English, excuse my bad grammar, excuse my Ebonics, but doggone, I ain't gonna let all you cowboy fans steal my joy. special things I want to do. Those of who are representing New Jerusalem, would you come now? Amen. Y'all be patient with us now. because This is not a funeral. I'm, I'm glad this is not a funeral because we go and tell test lies and everything else. And, <laughs> and we don't mean half what we said. So we're going to give the man some flowers while he yet can smell them. Amen. Oh, that is out. You almost got passed over. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely.
Dankeschön. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, I want to, uh, I'm gonna go in this order. I wanna thank these young men and women who play with Gary and help us and I, this first certificate, uh, because you all have been so much to me and my wife and we thank you for the service that you give. Pastor Long, would you come, please? I'm only gonna read these once. Appreciate what you do. All oh, that ain't no good without a little money to go with it. <laughs> Y'all say amen. Victoria. Levins. That's you, isn't it? Stand up. Where's my wife at? Stand up, wife. Brother Geary, you have been a blessing to this church. You have been a blessing to this community. It would take me all day to really tell the complete impact that you've had in this community. You've been a blessing to me. You've been a blessing to my ministry. I'm glad to have you on my team. So I just wanted to do something personal to recognize. I call your family, and they told me that you've been in the ministry for 52 years. That's quite an accomplishment. So I want to congratulate you with 52 years in the music ministry presented to Gary G. Blevins in appreciation of using your anointed gifts and talent given by God to serve his church. May God bless you, New Jerusalem Baptist Church, presented on behalf of Reverend and Mrs. Lawrence Brown. God bless you, Brother Gary, and thank you for all that you do in the ministry. God bless you, and thank you. Now, here's a little something to go along with that. Amen, amen. So thank you, so brother. Appreciate all that you do. God bless you. I love you too. God bless you. Now we're going to, Victoria, I forgot to give you your lunch money. All right. Listen, we're going to hear from Brother Blevins. Listen, I say this all the time. You cannot receive and not give back. When people have been a blessing to you, then you have an obligation and a responsibility to be a blessing to them. Because with that, when you got your hands closed, can't nothing go out and can't nothing come in. 
And some of us are so selfish and jealous and envy. Oh, y'all know how we are. Y'all know why we are. We, we get mad when other folk get celebrated. But you know what? The same God that blesses him can turn around and bless me. <laughs> so now the program calls for remarks. So I want to present to you, amen, Minister of Music, Brother Gary G. Blevins. He's coming to the mic. He's coming to the mic. He's coming to the mic. He don't like a lot of notes. Yeah. He's not the president of the United States, but, but come on, come on, come on. Yeah, praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, God has been good, not just to me, but to all of us. And uh, my mom always taught me, in order to have friends, you must show yourself friendly. And I see a lot of friends. And I don't want to start calling names, because I'll get in trouble. But to each and every one of you, I mean, there's some special people in this place. And uh, when I do you like that, you know what that means. That means it come from the heart. Um, I don't know where to uh, <laughs> where to start start with. But uh, first of all, to to God, I give all the glory. It's in Him that I move. I live. I have my being. I might as well not live at all unless I live in him. Um, to my pastor, thank you. Um, I can't say enough of him. He and his wife, and uh, they're just jewels. And uh, he said, I need you. And I, I said, I need you. And here we are. To this church, this governing body, I say thank you for allowing this to be possible. Reggie, pass along, he's like my right arm. We fuss and we fight, but we make good music together. <laughs> Reggie, Vicky, Fred, thank you. Jamal, I see you, man. That's the mod over there on the keyboard. He's coming up. I remember when I was his age, doing exactly what he's doing. But um, I tell you, um, to my family, they all over the building. Jesus, y'all stand up. I ain't gonna call no names. If you if you if you kin to me, stand up. If you kin to me. I don't care how you can come on, you can tell me. <laughs> you know, you know, they all over the building. <laughs> Baby, we ate some collard greens today. Y'all missed it. We had some collard greens today, y'all. But y'all, that's what we do. We eat. That's why they look so healthy. <laughs> we eat. We eat. We eat. We ate some peas and okra today, yeah. Y'all don't know nothing about the ham hocks and all that stuff. But <laughs> we didn't have no bread pudding though, you know. But, yeah, that was all that. but anyway, I want to thank them for being here uh, to my escort for the evening. Mary, my dear friend, I'd say thank you to her. And uh, to Phyllis, who spoke on the program, who seems to know so much about me. Phyllis is in Dallas. She's a, she's a Tylerite. She came up. When I came up, Phyllis was about nine, maybe seven. I don't know. She sang in my children's choir. I mean, I was 13. 
And she was singing, Jesus is the rock of my salvation. You remember that? But you know what? I thank God for my mind. I can go all the way back to when I was 13 and play those same songs. I can walk in without a songbook, a briefcase, a piece of paper. Some folks say, do you even own a briefcase? I've never carried music. And God has allowed me to do what I do and still do what I do. And all the praise goes to him. I mean, I, 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 don't, I can't figure it out. But I just know he's been good to me. Sister Foreman is in the back somewhere. And uh, I know she's got another committee, the committee, the anniversary committee, all of you, all the auxiliaries. Like I said, I'm not going to call no names. Y'all, thank you. Thank you just for doing what you do. And I'm going to tell y'all something, and then I'm through. People fuss at me all the time. They say, you don't never say no. You don't never say no. I was in the hospital last week on Tuesday night, overnight. They kept me all night. I didn't tell nobody. Cause see, that's just it. I'm going to get fussed at. The pastor going to be sitting at my bed, and Jesse going to be over there trying to do the doctor's work. But anyway. Uh, but I got out of the hospital about 6.45 in the morning on Wednesday morning. And I was supposed to be at College Hill Wednesday night directing and I had a problem with my leg and they said go put your leg up I did I put it up all day and I said Lord I ain't got but three songs tonight so if I just go out there and do them three songs and then come back and put my leg back up well I want you to know God allowed me to do just that And then again, Thursday morning, <coughs> I was at the Rose Garden with Deborah Cave for two songs for the opening of the Rose Festival and back and put my legs up. And I ain't, been, I ain't done nothing else since. But sometimes I don't say no because God has been so good. And I know how to get up every morning and tell him thank you. I know how to get up every morning and ask him to go before me. To order my steps. So I just I just wanted to just continue to do that that I do. But again, thank you to all of y'all for coming out, being a part. Paula, thank you. I don't know why she thought I was so mean when she met me. But I am stern. But that's how we get the work done. I looked around, I got some friends all the way from Dallas, Texas. I said, what they doing in the building? Yeah. But anyway, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how, it's, how it all gets done. But anyway, I, I have to say this. I was here at this church for 25 years. From 1985 to 2010 with Pastor Curtis. God allowed me to move away to the College Hill Missionary Baptist Church. If you're from College Hill, just throw your hand up. They're all over the house. I know it. I know it. And I was there 10 years. Then God led me back out and brought me back home. We love you too. <laughs> But I want you to know that I love everybody here. And I'm still a part of all of the churches, all the way back to Dale Chapel. And you know, it's a blessing to be able to leave a church and go back to a church. And uh, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. But anyway, last but not least, my other pastor, 
Now, when I left here and I went to College Hill, Kennedy Young was my pastor. And in my phone, it's two in there, it's two in there, it's Pastor Lawrence Brown and Pastor Kennedy Young. So Kennedy Young's still my pastor. He's my brother. I want to say thank you to him and, uh, for answering the call. His wife, Serena, love y'all. Thank y'all for coming. All the other preachers here, and there was a lot of them. I saw them all over the place. I say thank you to each one of you. If I miss anything else, charge it to my head, not my heart. All right? All right, I love y'all. You can come talk to me when it's over. Now, I don't have no more collard greens at home, okay? So don't, 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 don't try to follow. Again, let's give our minister of music a big hand as we get ready to go home now. We're getting ready to go. We're getting ready. There is some food that has been prepared. Now, I don't know what the arrangement is back there, so I'm not going to speak out of turn. All I know is that there is food back there. Now, how they're going to serve it, whether it's going to be set out or take out, I'm not going to commit one way or the other. I just know that there's food. So if you're hungry, you've already been spared spiritually. But if you need some regular kind of food or something back there, amen. Now, we're grateful again to all of the ministers and preachers that have come from, especially all of our ministers from East Texas, but a very good friend of mine uh, came all the way from Longview. Stand up, Pastor. Reese, we're grateful. Always, I'm getting used to being around. They, these young men, I tell you, they preach so hard, they make me feel invigorated. They make me feel like I can preach long, and I know I can, so... We're grateful. Now, Pastor Young is coming. We thank you for all that you've done. It's been marvelous, and it's good. And we're not going to the cemetery. We're not going to deposit no bodies tonight. And that's a blessing, isn't it? Amen. All right, Pastor Young is coming again. Thank you, brother pastors, for coming and sharing with us. If time will allow, let, I would let all of y'all talk. But, but uh, it's time to go home. Amen. Amen. So we're going to bring the preacher of the hour. He's going to bless the food, and then he's going to tell us what else the Lord told him, and then we're going home. Is that all right? Well, you don't have to go home. You really don't have to go home. You can stick around if you are. I'm going home. Right. Amen. God bless you. Come on, let's stand and let's get to the house. Thank you again for inviting us, Pastor Brown and Brother Blevins. Good to see so many familiar faces. Our brother Cross and Brother Choice and others, uh, Brother Ryder and family. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. May he bless your going in and your coming out both now and forever. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask, dream, think, or imagine. Now, Lord, tonight I pray that you would bless us and keep us and help us too prioritize our praise Lord I pray that as we go home tonight with so many things on the parameters and the vicissitudes of our minds and on the altars of our heart we give them to you and praise you in spite of them and because of them now Lord we thank you for this your son and your servant brother Blevins continue to bless his health his heart and his hands and continue to bless everything that his mind is set to do. Bless this church and the vineyards keeper, Pastor Brown, and others that are here. And Lord, should you delay your coming, wake us up in the morning to give your name the praise all over again. For you're still our strength and our redeemer in Jesus' name. And bless the food we're about to receive. Amen. Amen.